XOXO, yeah man, Canada was turned up man. The Canada show was mad. I just came off um, a performance in New York. Just came off the boat. So I just had some food. So um I think I have like a little bit of time. I think I have a little bit of time to um think there. To reason for about half an hour. Um Queen B Randy, long time you know see a goddess one. Well, it's a long time you know see you know. Yeah, Alright. Kendrick say F politics. No, you can't F politics, you know. You cannot F politics. You see that are the mistake that we have been making, including me. We can't F politics. You see if we F politics um people will continue to operate in the same manner um because they know that you're not interested in politics so they just do they just do whatever they want to do but you say for hold people accountable and we call out things when we see it as a people then um, at least they will try and implement change. You understand our changes to uh, make your life better. So it's like if you don't say anything, you don't have a chance. I, I, you know, they're not gonna um, think they need to do anything. In my view. So um, why is it? That's a whole different conversation. But you know, we can't talk about it. We can't talk about it because the people in control the world and um, some things I guess we just have to leave it to God. Yeah. You understand? Some 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 um things I guess we just have to leave it to God because It's just what you have to understand that um, mankind was always evil and cruel, you know. Mankind was always wicked. Mankind was always wicked, but it must get more evil now because we are, it looks more evil now because we are seed. But mankind was always wicked, man. Yeah, man, when you read all the Bible and them things, you see them things in the Bible where people did to people you just know that them have um, advanced military weapons you see what I say so they can carry out more de damage in a short space of time but that's a whole different conversation right now we just have to reason about where we may have a say to reason about and one of them things I want to talk about with the item is Mark Golden yeah, I want to talk about Mark Golden. Now, I started looking at Mark Golden. Um, in a different way, I started looking at Mark Golden in a different way. When I when I saw the chains, the the chain skit that they did. The chain skit that they did with, um, with Big Stone, where he had the, where he was pretending to be taking a chain of uh, a Negro neck, Negro's neck. From then, from then I started, you know, having uh, my spirit just get cross against him. So I want the PMP people and the PMP party to understand that Damien Crawford and my bridge, you know. Like I rate him like that. Like I rate Nesta. I rate Damon Crawford like that. So Damon Crawford I'm a brethren. So what I'm doing is not an indictment on the People's National Party. Or, the, or everybody in a PMP. My grocery is with Mark Golden. I do not like the man. None at all. 
my spirit is totally against this man. The day when I saw him do that script, did act on stage with Big Stone, that scripted act that he did on that he did on stage with Big Stone, pulling off chain off him, they kind of pretend like him a free him from slavery. It was a trigger moment for me, based on the research I have done, the you know the transatlantic slave trade, the um, Arab African slave trade. You know, it's like it was a trigger moment for me, Bridget. Like me, I say a white man. I use slavery to score political points. It was like yo. The man yeah, my spirit just get cross against him. Like me, I say, yo, who the white man yeah? You know, I use our, you know, the, the atrocities were committed against us. Who the white man yeah, I use it for score political points? You see? Yeah. It does. But my spirit cross against him. Yeah man. And since then, yeah, I realized uh, my spirit was not in the wrong. My spirit was right about this man. Totally right about this man. Yeah. In my view, this man come to mash up Jamaica. This man come not even when Portia was competing against Andrew Wellness, was there so much diversity in the sensory, not the diversity, divisiveness, excuse me. So much divisiveness in our politics. Like I remember when Portia was running with against Andrew Wellness, people were just making jokes. People were laughing at Portia Simpson, you know, cussing out people. And people was talking about Andrew Wellness, and it was just like, no, but you didn't, you didn't feel like people wanted to kill you. You didn't feel threatened, like somebody was literally do you something. Mark Golden bring back a darkness to politics. A darkness. I remember being man was out there in the, with the PMP them. You see what me I say? And the artists were singing dub plates for everybody. And nobody was like labeling no artists as JLP and PMP. That was not the case. People were saying like, yo, why would I sing dub plate for them? Them now do nothing for dance hall. And that was it. But we never feel a level of divisiveness here. That we're feeling now when Mark Golden took the thing. Mark Golden, in my view, he's back to take Jamaica to the dark days. Yeah, is a spirit will come back. Yeah, yeah, man. As a Christian, would say a, a spirit of blood, bloodshed. He just feel a way there when we look upon the man, and the man just give me that spirit there, that vibe there. That you see me? I say, yeah. I've never seen this in a long time. I've not seen this in a long time. Where if you say something. Good about Andrew Wellness, people are telling about your mama, people are calling your Batman, people are this, people are that, people are say you get paid, people are say you're dead. I, I've not seen this in a long time in politics. If you say I support JLP, people are saying Andrew Wellness must be a ride you, Andrew Wellness must be a peer you. It's like, what? What kind of energy that man you bring? What kind of energy he bring? That's the reason why I wanted Damian Crawford to be the opposition leader, you know. Because Damian Crawford, I just see the brother, you know, say, him not depend that something there. Him not depend black people that kill each other over him. And the problem I have with black people, brethren, we kill each other over Edward Siaga, we kill each other over Michael Manley. Two white men. 
and we fight and we shoot and we loot and we kill each other over two white men. And at the same thing now again, the PMP people them is like them with that one. Do your something for, your, for Mark Golden. Yeah, man. It's like the PMP people them, them vicious. Vicious. Listen me, you're a PMP, you calling to Ratigan show. Yo, make certain say, when I go watch the business, where I do, I make certain say, every room and everything and everywhere I investigate him and where we, me a PMP, a tabo, yeah, he, Batman, Batman, Batman. I say, what? Over politics? Over a white man? Over a white man? Same way like how we, we, we kill off each other. Fe, man, it's like when we see the color, when we see white people, we feel like we have to serve them with our life. We feel like we have to put on our life upon the line for the white man. And Mark Golden. Is not gonna put down his life on the line for you. And that are the wickedest thing, you know. Bad to bad, you know. Them say Andrew Wellness this, Andrew Wellness that. If Andrew Wellness get into trouble tomorrow with the law, you know. Or disaster come to Jamaica, Andrew Wellness now have nowhere to run to, you know. Mark Golden is a British citizen who finds it so difficult. To renounce his citizenship. He said it. He said he has never thought about it. To renounce his citizenship. For, 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 from, 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 from the British. This man has been living in Jamaica. For years according to him. He was born there according to him. And the man said. Yo, it's like we are forcing him. To renounce his citizenship. This man come tell. We say he don't want to. If we have a republic. If. Not don't want us to. He's not gonna sign off on us becoming a republic if we not totally decolonized. Decolonized. Lo and behold, this man will say him not sign off or make his people sign off if we are not totally decolonized. But yet still, he's saying people are forcing him to decolonize. Or to give up his citizenship. Because when it matter about we have to be fully decolonized. He might put himself in it too. So he actually I tell us eh, he was colonized. And we don't know about that, but we just can him say we we just say. Alright, boss. When him speaking, him say our ancestors died and suffered and shed their blood and the blood of our ancestors sanctified me. Mark Golden. Our ancestors are not your ancestors. No. Your ancestors are your people. They got paid to free us. To free us from slavery. They got 20 million pounds. To free us from slavery. Your ancestors. Had us on the plantations. And when we say ancestors. We not just talk your, your immediate family. Your mother. Your father. No we not talk that. We attack your ancestors. Your people them. Our ancestors are not your ancestors, Mark Golden. We understand, say, yo, we not discriminate out of one, uh, out of many, out of many, we are one people and all them something here. But the truth is the truth. Our ancestors are not your ancestors, brother. Your phenotype was not subjected to what we as a people went through.
So I don't understand why Negroes would have want to kill each other over this man. Why? What change is he going to bring? That is going to make your life better. What change? The man has no assets in Jamaica. According to his statutory declaration, he has no assets in Jamaica. No assets. The man not even believe in the country. In my view. The man don't even believe. The man do, the man have no asset in Jamaica. The man not trust the development of the country. The man the man the man not believe in the, 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 the future of the country. But again is the White man syndrome catch us as black people. And the matter says, Yo, you're a race bait. We're not a race bait, we're talking the truth. Because we did not see people out here. Not even for, not, I remember people used to talk the worst things about Portia Simpson. And I, I did not see the level of divisiveness. Me never hear people that threaten people, say so they're going to hurt people for Portia Simpson. And Portia Simpson are a sister. Portia Simpson, we don't have to hear, we don't have to guess where she born. We don't have to guess, we don't have to guess where Portia born. We know Portia, who are we? We don't even sure which part Mark Golden born. They look a hybrid pot where we talk. I hit a fool, you know. I don't claim that I'm going to bring better. What policy did he implement when the PMP was in power? Challenge him on that. Ask him what policies he implemented when the PMP was in power. The problem we are having in Jamaica, you know. The people are upset because they cannot make any excuse now to come beg you. Some of the people. Them. Because you have the heart program now, you can tell a man to go look at work, you know. Because you can get stipend to go up a heart and learn a skill. So like people run out, people running out of excuse. You know? Because you can get a work now. The youth them no want work, them no want farm. The youth them want to have a TikTok and bleach out themselves and can't go in at the sun. You see? This person has said, talk about Andrew have money and hide in a shell company. Have money and hide in a shell company. The last Statutory declaration where Andrew Wilness do, he have assets in a Jamaica. If I mean horse, he have a horse in Jamaica. You see, that's what we do, you know, when I play. Talk about Andrew Wilness, this, talk about Andrew Wilness, that. Andrew Wilness come from Jamaica, a Jamaican citizen. That man you can just pack up his family and leave tomorrow. Him not have to transfer no money. Them not have nothing to hold on to him. He just pack up and cut. As a matter of fact, me even go deeper than that. Based on Mr. Wildman, Mr. U. Wildman, attorney at law, expert on the constitution, and research that I've done so far, Mark Golden is illegitimate. He's unqualified to be in parliament. 
based on my understanding. Him not him supposed to be in a parliament. So stay the table and you will offshore things them. I shell this and shell that. You see? How quick you jump up? Talk about the black man. Where him have? Talk about where the black man have. Talk about where the black woman have. You know why you're nothing about massa. You jump up fast. Question where the black man get fee money. Oh, the white man deserve it. Yeah, the white man supposed to rich. Oh, question the black man. Where you get the money from? Mark Gould in statutory declaration declared that his income from real estate was 56 million. Mm -hmm. For the year. 56 million. When the market a boom. When the market a boom. 56 million. And based on my understanding, he's a part of proven. He's a part of other businesses, real, real estate business. And one two bedroom apartment, I sell for 50 million dollars. One. So you tear the ring up, run come in, run come in with hundred you willing to have money in a foreign account. And think when I fool anybody. You know I fool nobody. The fact still remains that the man is a British citizen and he not have no asset in Jamaica. And he claims that he going to make 56 million dollars based on his statutory declaration and my understanding. And that he needs to talk about. He can pack him back tomorrow morning and cut. If, if Mark Golding break the law tomorrow, he can just take a plane and leave and nobody can touch him. Him taking British passport and land in America and then can extradite him back to Jamaica. Mark Golden lied about his citizenship status or his birth or his passport for so long until he got caught. And the lie didn't mean nothing to him. Blatant lie. Blatant lie. He's, first he said he did not renew his passport that he got from his father as a little boy. Then he changed it to his passport is going to be expired this year. Or next year. And he said in earlier times that he got it from his father when he was a little boy. You know why he did that? Because he's a lawyer and he knows well once he renewed that passport in pledge allegiance to a foreign country and based on the constitution section 40 subsection 2 no one can pledge allegiance to a foreign country and serve in a parliament and mark golden in my opinion he knew this that's why i'm a dodge that's why i'm a hide it but him knows him have uno to come to about andrew in his statutory declaration and that to know what i see one of our sisters, he now no asset to Jamaica and he pledge allegiance to a British state and he can pack up himself and leave tomorrow without a trace, without nothing. If Andrew will just turn against each other and we start K I L L each other and start mash up each other and start all of them things to each other, he just take a plane and leave with night. If Jamaica break out into a civil war, Andrew, um, when name Mark Golden, excuse me, can just pack him bag and just have, as a matter of fact, the British state will send for him. He will be escorted out. If we start fighting each other tomorrow in the streets and I hurt each other and I do the worst thing to each other, Mark Golden just take a plane and gone. He and his family. But but it's nothing new. It's nothing new. It's the same reason why the Europeans were able to come into Africa and took us out. Because we're very divisive and tribal. 
Oh, and you want a thief, and you want a thief. Uh, you might rob up the money, you might thief the money. Hey, you might thief, you might thief. You want to say thief to my criminal. And I, you don't have a problem with thief, you know? You don't have a problem with thief. You have a problem with the black man thief. And that's a problem, you know? We have a problem with the black man thief from the British. When the black man thief from the Brit from the European them, you have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But when the European them thief from the black man, you have no problem with it. Had that type of problem, you know? It's just a Negro thief. You have a problem with the Negro thief. You see? That's the problem. That's the issue. But just look around. Look, just look how everybody just get. Look, look, on, look, on, look, on, we ain't loan some of them and the rest of the diaspora people. Them. Look at it. You can't. Listen, me, I went on Ratigan's page because Mr. Wildman was supposed to come on my page, on my YouTube, and I actually gave um, Ratigan, you know, I told him to do Ratigan show. You know, because it's a bigger platform and I just, I wanted him to spread the message. I wanted him to educate the masses. And listen to me people, Mr. Wild Man, as the man the expert on the constitution. Mr. Wild Man, the man there used to be DPP in a Grenada, acting DPP in a Jamaica. The man the well studied in the field people. And so you see people in the comment section and Ratigan who me thinks I was a man where you know you know you know you know you, as a man who me respect Ratigan me know if him a see the comment of the moderators he maybe need to get moderators and the people in the in the comment they were just so they were going on and they were classing the man and they were it just was so it, it was just what Mr. Wildman a big family man a man just come for sheer something with the masses and suppose you hear because it was not what they wanted to hear they did not want to hear that Mark Golden is not supposed to be in parliament they did not want to hear that our other MPs who Pledge allegiance to foreign foreign states. They didn't want to hear that. When he was over there talking about Paula and Llewellyn, everybody was happy. Everybody had a grand time. Yeah man, yeah man, yes, Mr. Wildman, yeah man, talk to them, educate them. Yes, Mr. Wildman, a God send you, yeah, God people. And they they rejoiced. When Mr. Wildman told them that Paul and Llewellyn could not go down to the courthouse Monday morning, and they filed um, um, with full file documents and sent it over to the court, and they were happy, they were they were rejoicing that Mr. Mr. Wildman was their hero. And because the man went there and just decided that yo, I'm going with the law, I'm stating the law, I'm interpreting the law. The people them disrespectful, not the comment people, you that take.